going on everybody welcome back to the channel it's ip fair kids irl here and what i have for you today is why the speed stat is the most important stat in the game so let me break down why that is um so the speed side in this game is based on which hero moves in relation to um, the eight turns, right? There's eight turns in a battle, and inside of, in just one of those turns, it's like if Mary goes first, if Leonidas, if Alexander, if any of the opposing threes, if they go first. Um, so the way that you really need to think about speed is, in what fashion do I want my team to move in? Do I want Leonidas to go first? Do I want Alexander? Do I want Mary to go first? So let's talk about, you know, one team in specifically that really benefits from um from a fast uh from a fast person, for instance. Let's take the burn team and let's take Leonidas and Mary specifically. So in this case, right, the burn team is about someone being set on fire and then the person in the back leonidas or juan usually will then do damage based on if that person is afflicted with a burn status so for instance mary comes along she sets someone on fire and then leonidas comes he does his battle of thermo or sterling hammer and does huge chunks of damage based on if they are set on fire if they're not set on fire then you're going to do less damage so Let's go down into like why why PvP does this matter so much? Um, why don't I just all go into attack or all into intelligence? Um, so if all things were to remain steady, then Leonidas would always move first on your team versus Mary. Mary would actually move after Leonidas, which is not what you want. You want Mary to go before Leonidas in every instance. There's not an instance where you don't want Mary to move before Leonidas. So, Leonidas right here has a 1.44 speed stat. If we take Mary, for instance, she has a 1.35. So, based off of just average leveling, Leonidas and also their base stats. Base stats can be a little bit ranged as well. But, in this instance, Leonidas will move after, move after Mary, right? Mary is going to set them on fire. It's going to inflict them with burns. You know, between this and, and um, the Agen Court, um, you're going to be setting them on fire, which is going to allow Leonidas, right? If the target's already suffering from burn effects, the skill damage is going to be increased by 50%, up to 200% until the battle ends. Huge chunk of damage. Sterling Hammer, if they're already burned, there's a 33% chance of causing explosion damage. You want those effects to go off. That's why you're using them. Now... Let's go into basically, and, and I'm kind of skipping over Alexander. Alexander is just, he's a part of the team, but he's there to support the other two in whatever they do, which is just more damage, more support, uh, keeping them alive at all cost. So, and this, this applies to not only the burn team, this applies to every team in the game. This applies to the control team, this applies to the counter team, this applies to burn, um, assault, all the above. So, Let's go into a battle report real quick that actually does this pretty well. Um, I need to get that off my screen. Okay. So, let's go into this one. For instance, this is actually a good one to go over. Um, I was actually pretty happy with this considering my morale was so far down. Um, I, this was actually still a good battle report. So, um, for instance, right here, this just gives an overall spreadsheet view of who did what damage, how many healed, how many losses did you incur, um, that kind of thing. But what we want to go into is the um, go into the battle overview, and you don't really want to worry too much about the pre the pre turns or the charge rounds. Um, that's not really what we're talking about. Um, the prep rounds is for any commands, uh, military decrees, um, passives are gonna go off um, in this and activate it on. Um, activated in this turn so commands will always go off you don't really care too much that's the reason why alexander i'm gonna put everything in defense right i'm gonna put everything in defense on him but i don't really care about how fast he is it doesn't matter to me how how fast alexander is because he's not there to do anything but buff up the team as a support and tank damage so let's go into round one as you guys can see my mary is the first person that moves in the round mary starts off but by setting people immediately on fire with Unforgiving Trial. And she also activates Agen Court. 
So she sets them on fire and the burn the burn has essentially been refreshed. So the burn effects in the burn effect is there. Now, Leonidas only does Nika Riots and Sterling Hammer. Now, you might be saying, what's what's the point of the prepare turns, right? Why does it matter if he's preparing? Uh, you know, she would still she would still set him on fire. So the main reason why you still, regardless, want Mary to go first is Leonidas is going to if Leonidas attacked before Mary. If Leonidas attacked before Mary, Mary would only have one opportunity, one opportunity to set them on fire. If Mary moves before Leonidas, right? If Mary moves before Leonidas, Leonidas in the second round, if if he activates the prepare skills, you're going to have two opportunities to set them on fire, fire rather than one. So if you follow what I'm saying, it plays an important role in where they go inside of the turn and where they're moving at. So right here, you're like, oh, it doesn't matter if they were set on fire or not because of the prepare turn. Well, if we go right here, Mary then goes again. Mary then goes again. And she doesn't activate anything. She doesn't activate anything. If this was her turn in turn one and then Leonidas moved first in round two, all that Sterling Hammer bonus, it, would, it wouldn't even be possible. But... Leonidas activates Sterling Hammer right here, and um, and yeah, you and right here, Leonidas goes off. The Sterling Hammer explosion goes off. That would not have taken place if if Mary had acted like how she did in turn two and turn one, and then Leonidas moved first, right? So, what I'm trying to say is, start to look at your battle reports. Start to realize the pattern in which you need to be doing damage. If you're doing a control team where Peter needs to be moving before Richard, right? Peter needs to be moving before Richard. You want all of the control effects to be going off before Richard even moves. So, be thinking about how those teams can correlate. Charlemagne. Same thing with the Charlemagne team. You want the control effects to be going off, right? You want the control effects to be going off before Charlemagne moves. If, if Charlemagne goes first, then what's the point of having the secondary effect where he does more damage? You want Charlemagne to be slow. So, apply this to Juwan and Mary slash uh, Theodora, or apply this to any of your other damage dealers or the way that you build your troops, and this is going to help you out so much and win more fights. So, with all that being said, that's really all I wanted to talk about and explain to y'all about why you need to be focused so much on speed and why it matters so much. Don't pay attention to just the complete recommended style, do everything in between and start to really focus down on, oh, hey, why why am I losing so many fights, right? Why am I losing? Start to think about, oh, he's actually silencing me. He's doing this. And he moved before me, but I could have moved first before him. I'm a higher level, and I also have the ability to move quicker than him. If I would have actually dumped some points in the speed, it, it didn't matter if that, that, that 20 extra strength points did any more damage because I couldn't even use my abilities, right? What was the point of even having my abilities? I was already silenced before I could move. Same thing applies with disarm for an assault team. So that's the reason why, guys, I just want to say that speed is so important in this game and it will help you win so many more PvP fights whenever everyone else is doing, oh, the recommended just building stats, just building intelligence, building attack. You're over there. You're moving before them and they're just throwing off guard, right? So, um... With all that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope this helps you out in building your teams, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one. Peace.